We are starting a new project. Look how dirty your wall is over there. We have to clean that. Um, my son here eating. Say hi, Jacob. Hi. Had his desk over here in the corner along the wall. Had his bed in here. A lot of wasted space up here. So he decided he wanted to build a loft bed so he can bring the bed up five feet and then put his desk and everything underneath and have reclaim all this space. So we picked up a bunch of lumber, not going to be anything fancy, just uh, plywood, plywood and uh, two by fours, two by threes, two by tens and such. And we're going to raise the bed up and put his desk underneath. Here we have the, the leg posts cut up. You can't buy 4x4s here that are not treated and that will just stink up his room forever. So we're using 2x4s cut to 70 inches and we're going to screw two together for each leg. And for right now we only need six posts, we may need a seventh so we bought some extra. We have an issue here, as you can see. It looks like I cut the board too short. But it's the same length as the brace I put, the cross piece I put over there. Well, and the front board is straight. This back one is bowed. It's bowed towards the window. I'm gonna put a two inch ratchet strap around it and pull it together. Ratchet strap around the boards. And just pulled it gently together so that it's not warped. Easy peasy. A one inch ratchet strap would do just fine. We've put rails all the way around. Oh, we gotta do the big one on that side. Okay, so we got one more rail to put around. That's gonna carry the plywood. We're using 5 eighths plywood because it was $10 cheaper than the three quarter. And he's not that heavy. So we're gonna see if this flexes too much, which I don't think it will. If it does, we'll put uh, more braces across it. But just the one more to go, then we're gonna cut the plywood and notch it up here, it should fit good. First sheet, plywood, custom fit of course, like everything, has to be custom fit. And there's really no flex in the, in the two by four or the, or the uh, two by three underneath. Yeah, that's gonna work out really nice. There we are. Top of the bed is done. So how'd you go? Uh, this piece over here, this board was a little thicker, although it's the same stuff. Uh, so if we need to, we'll put a brace underneath that. It flexes a bit. So we might end up putting one under there, but it'll be fine. Jacob's just gonna vacuum it off. 
then we're gonna throw the mattress up there. Oh, hit the wall. And then we're gonna build the stairs here. Looking pretty good. And there we have it. Stairs are in. And Jacob's starting to make his bed. There it is. Good, solid eight hours of work. Uh, maybe, maybe nine, because we had to go buy stuff. He's putting his dresser under here. It's about oh, five and a half feet underneath. No, you're not going to fit it. I can't walk in it. He can't walk in it. But he can sit on his chair and we can slide his desk in here until we build one in. That was a good day's work.